beautiful snow tv and welcome back snowflakes and welcome if you guys are new make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notifications and also say hip to the community time for updates and new uploads so these are the nails we're going to be doing today we're going to be doing some long duck nails um, i'm going to be using this poly gel from more van now i did put this in the freezer for like maybe five minutes and y'all it made application way better so we're also going to be using those products we're also going to be unboxing and doing a review on this nail drill now i did buy this with my own coins y'all this nail drill currently is on amazon for nine dollars this is a cordless nail drill from a great company it's one of our name brand companies here in the nail business melody Susie, as far as their dust collectors and nail and nail drills so this is their p series and this is their instructions these are everything that you get in the box now i don't particularly use these particular nail bits but i will use that diamond bit it comes with a charger because it is chargeable as i say it was it is cordless um this kind of, i already have like a little block if you don't have a block you know try and get one from like five below or something like that that'll fit this uh usb so it comes with like a little you know duster here just for any nail dust and then it also comes with these um sanding bands now i have i don't ever see people use these <laughs> and i may use them but i just throw them in the back of my box so this comes with a mandrel bit um, a couple diamond bits there and the product we're all here for which is the actual nail drill y'all this feels so good in the hand it's very smooth it is light purple like a lilac purple it does not have that twist on feature um there is the charging port there instructions there or warning labels on the back there so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and it immediately comes on and goes to number one now you can change the setting here um, i went all the way up to number five you can see it's spinning there so i'm gonna go ahead and play around with it and you guys can see it's like a left and a right or reverse and forward um i'm gonna use this drill for dynamic nail supply i just all you do is just like press it down in there and it's nice and snug and then you'll just go ahead and it'll start spinning um it is very fast for my liking um I usually keep it on one five six at the most and I'm going with this thing it is very very fast um, I would recommend this for intermediate not for beginners for beginners I would recommend a little bit slower nail drill so you can kind of get the feel and you can kind of work your way up but that is the drill we're gonna be using today I did kind of use it a little bit but I will use it more often in later on in the video so we're gonna go ahead with our application and um, this is from more advanced the beautiful um, reflective pink um, I'm doing like a hello kitty set today I want to draw more y'all <laughs> I want to draw more. Uh, I want to give you guys a little bit more something different. So, yes, I love my stickers, especially from shopkiki.com. But I really wanted to get into more drawing, and that's, you know, definitely what we're doing now. So, um, if I yawn throughout this voiceover, I'm so sorry, y'all. I've been kind of sick a little bit. And also, it is like 11.30 at night. Um, so... <laughs> You have to excuse me if my voice sounds a little funny. I'm so sorry. So this is just the application that we're going to be doing. As you can see, um, I've only have this sped up times two here. Um, I, like application is going great. Like freezing the poly gel for like five minutes or so. Now it does make it a little bit more stiffer, obviously, but it just really makes it more van is more of like a stickier poly gel or if it's like a running poly gel it's more softer it's not as stiffer as my cart like my cart i don't have to put it in the freezer or anything like that but for those these types of poly gels i do recommend that little hack um you know just to kind of give you more control and also um it does blend well if you go in with a second bead it does not give like a line of demarcation um and then i just go ahead and take my poly gel brush like y'all when i say i was done with application within like 10 minutes y'all i was done like i was done one bead method done <laughs> like i love a good duck shape and i just i was done with application like i didn't have to go over it. as you can see i'm not chasing it i'm just like making sure it's all good and that's it so i'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds 
and that's it so all the application is done y'all this looks so pretty like you could top coat this and go like file it of course but <laughs> top coat this and go so we're gonna go ahead and as you can see i don't have my usual nail drill out but i'm gonna go ahead and change that cylinder bit um with a new sanding band it's like a peel and stick kind of thing and it is stuck honey i could not get that my regular nails so i had to go in with my nippers and you know kind of yank that off because it's on there so um that one is kind of worn down i think i've been doing that for the past eight ten sets <laughs> so i think that one's pretty worn down then i just replaced it with a new one um so with that i'm just gonna kind of show you the old one kind of be up there and you can see the new one looks more vibrant so i'm just gonna press that into the to the nail drill and turn it on now i think i went up to like three or two i think my i was you know just getting a feel for the for the drill so i think i did go up to three here but it is very fast y'all like it doesn't feel slow which is great so um you know as you can see i'm basically covered the whole nail within them few you know few seconds i'm gonna hit my free edge here really quick and then go under the side of the nails i barely tap you don't with duck nails you don't want to lose the flare so i barely miss you know barely tap those so i think i cut it off a little bit and then i'm going in with my hand file of course so um just to, you know really get the smoothness of the nail and then i'm gonna go in with my um cuticle and then i'm gonna buff you guys already know this process if you need to do nails before I'll let you guys finish watching And with a little magic shake there we are all done with file shaping and buffing um i love the shape of these y'all these were so cute so i am gonna go look at that just the apex is just beautiful as well um so i also am just gonna go in with my mccart black noir your if i'm saying that right <laughs> uh, and we're just gonna paint the thumb and the pinky all black uh, i hate it to cover up that glitter but it is what it is <laughs> so this is a beautiful, very pigmented black. You would only need one coat, honestly. Um, you know, black is already hard to cure, so you want to get a nice, even coat on there and then cure for a full 60 seconds. So I'll do the pinky and the thumb like this.
And here is what that pinky looks like. The thumb, they all, they both cured beautifully. So we're gonna go ahead and do our white fringe on the index and ring finger. Um, I'll do one and then I'll come back with both done. So I did my fringe. This time I filled in the bottom as far as I want the fringe to go down. And then made sure, you know, to cover up the pink completely. Um, and yeah, I did two coats of their white. I find it, it's pigmented, but it's not as pigmented. Um, I just wanted to get a really good coverage. Um, I feel like I want to try a new brand of gel polish as far as like black and whites, but that'll, that's here nor there. I want to try the Madame Glams, but I don't know. $50 for nail polish, like, that, you know, my channel is all about affordable products that work well. Now I get, like, you know, quality, brand, I get that, but that's not on, that's not within budget. Now, if you ball in like that and you can do your own nails and that's within your budget, $50 for just six polishes, go ahead, boo-boo, but I don't care how much money I got. I'm just a minimalist, like... I just don't believe in spending that much money on some polishes. And you're supposed to do two coats anyway. Like that's just how I feel about it. Cause the thin the thin is the like the thinner the layers of polish, the more control you have. And I feel like it just really gives, you know, like this like this right here was perfect, but to my liking. Even when I do clients, I do do two layers of, you know, French. That's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that because that came out way perfect and faster than I thought. <laughs> so both of those are cured. I did do um, their you know, Frenchies. And now I'm just going to go in with some of this black, the same black from my cart. And I'm just going to do like some little spider webs in the corners. Um, just want to add like a little extra Halloween-y thing to it. And I'm just going to do this. You guys see me do this on my last video with the spider nails. And I'm just gonna do this. I know it looks kind of wonky, but they're spider webs. They're not supposed to be perfect. So <laughs> you guys can do this however you wish. This is just how I'm doing mine. Um, I'm just gonna kind of fling it out a little bit. Um, but then I'm just gonna go in. I feel like you can go either way with the spider webs. I don't think it's a right or a wrong way. Cause they still look like spider webs. That's how people like make the U here instead of like the I don't know half C motion that I'm doing I feel like it's still it's still gay spider web so I still like it either way <laughs> y'all get the understanding of what that is and when you see it you know what it is so that's just the way I did mine I did just do this on both of those Frenches and then I cured those for about 60 seconds And if you guys have not noticed you're more than halfway through this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and support your girl for free. And here are we have some dotting tools. We're gonna do our little bones because this is Skella Kitty. This is Hello Skella Kitty. So <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but that's just how I figure it should be said. Like I don't know. So I saw this and I wanted to do this inspiration. Um, I did get some inspo from another nail artist which uh, she did a great job but i didn't do mine exactly like hers um i just took a little inspo from it the like i wanted to draw on my own i feel like my hello kitty came out okay <laughs> i feel like she came out okay and right here doing the bones is like really easy um you just want to make them look more bony i don't know how to explain it so like you make them more like circles and just kind of connect it like hearts a little bit 
and that's that's literally all you do and then you just kind of bring it down in the middle and i will show this again on the middle finger because now we're ready for hello skello kitty excuse me and i'm just making the body here um i did make the body a little bit long i should have left it this length right here but i was like dang it's too much room on the nail and why am I doing it this small? And y'all, always follow your first mind, aka the Lord. <laughs> so I should have left it this small, but I did extend Hello Kitty's, you know, Skello Kitty's body. Um, and you want to round the corners. That's Hello Kitty is round. Regardless, she's a fat cat, so she's round. You know, she's thick, like the rest of us. She is thick. Um, I did my little arms here, and I should have brought them in downward a little bit more i didn't know why i have them sticking out like she was about to fly but i did go ahead and take those off yeah i did go ahead and just take that off and then like i said i extended her body which i shouldn't have done um and also didn't round that i think i'll go back and round it later but this is just my version of hello of skello kitty and i should have made her arms thicker and i did go back and make them a little bit thicker but you know this is just how I did it um I should have had like a reference picture but I didn't I was going off of my memory which is <laughs> not always the best so I feel like her arms were okay but um yeah y'all this is very strategic a uh, drawing is very strategic I was trying to make her little thumb there and it was just like oh my gosh <laughs> so I made the thumb her head to me was very square like to get her head like really really good it's like you almost have to be square so I was like I was in the right place I really was I was in the right place and I just needed to curve more like a rectangle but not a rectangle if that makes sense so I used my dotting tool to do this particular you know one and as I stated her body is a little bit big but I felt like I needed the body because where put the legs at so <laughs> y'all do not worry about me right here it looks like a koala bear but i'm gonna fix that so i actually take off the ears um and then i redo them because they were just they weren't right um right there i could have left it right there honestly but in my mind i'm like wait they're not that pointy and then i'm extending her head here it's okay but I, I wiped those ears off. I tried to like round the ears because you want to round them. As you can see, I'm trying to round that head, but I, I extended it so far, I almost want to be like, God darn it. <laughs> but I do go ahead and fix the ears because as you can see right here, they're just not looking like I want them to look. Um, and can we appreciate the apex on that thumb? Like, hey, apex on that thumb is giving. So as you can see, I did go ahead and fix them here. And I'm just kind of going in and just once again, making her head even bigger um you know it's a big head of bitch you know what i'm saying so she got all this you know 50 years going on and she's still popping so she might have a big head but whatever um so i did go ahead and get that to my liking uh i thought it was okay at this point and also realize that the ears are not as close together but it's good it's good i left it like this so i was not gonna go any further so i'm gonna do like the little nose or mouth or whatever that is um and i just cured that for like a couple seconds and then i'm gonna go in with the eyes y'all the eyes are like the hardest one of the hardest things right there i was like oh god the eyes they're not they're not symmetrical i should have left them right here guys but i kept messing with them i did the eyes like two or three times y'all just let y'all know <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead <laughs> I'm gonna go in and go ahead and let you guys just watch this process. I'm not gonna talk as much because it's only a few more minutes left in the video and it's pretty self explanatory what I'm doing. Um, if I need to pop back in, I will.
And I am just popping back in here just to let you guys know. I'm just doing the bones on her body, her legs, and then just like the little rib cage kind of thing. And that's all I did. And instead of the black bows on the um, French nails, um, I did just do some rhinestones on each nail at the top. Uh, I felt like the black bows would have really popped a little bit more, but this is just my way of doing things. And I don't throw a little bling in here. It won't be a beautiful snow TV set. It just won't. Um, so I just put a little bit of bling there just one not too many just, just one can't be too many that's that omega song make sure y'all hit up make his album like she's been slapping on that new music like i ain't gonna lie she always slaps with some new stuff but let's go ahead and finish this set and i'm just gonna go ahead and top coat uh, i believe i already did top coat the black nails and then i'm just gonna go ahead and top coat the other ones and then i'll be right back with the final results All right, guys, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I enjoyed drawing Skello Kitty. And I hope you guys have, you know, taken this as inspiration to start drawing more. Start doing more with your nails. You can do it. Whatever everybody else is doing, they all started out somewhere and they started with practice. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like the subscribe, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and share it with someone that may love it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.